Hi everyone, it's Shelly with Shelly's Creative Crafts. Welcome back. So I finished another journal and wanted to share it with you. And this one is a three signature journal on um, some real pretty floral tapestry fabric that I uh, have. And then I did do a picture frame on the front with um, journal in the middle, um, kind of decoupaged, and then the little uh, mini um, rose buds and that sort of thing, vintage buttons, and uh, a satin closure. So it's um, jam-packed as usual. And um, so we'll just dive right on in here. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. All right, so um, as usual, I like to do the fabric um, inside the fabric um, pockets. And then I did do um, just a kind of a variety of little um, journaling cards here. And then, um, but of course anything can go in there after the fact. Um, but there's just some little journaling goodies there. And then I did make this tag, um, and there are six embellished um, paper clips and then just a few of these little plain ones um, just to kind of keep things in their place. Um, but this is just a tag um, that I did with the dress form and it says make a wish and all that sort of stuff on it. So that um, just kind of clips back up in there. Uh, the first embellished paper clip, this one um, has a, <laughs> they all have a little charm on them, minus the ones that are like the hidden paper clips, but this one has a little frog. And then um, this is uh, one of the little note cards that I made. And then um, the uh, sideways embellished paper clip just has um, an old vintage postage stamp, um, some flat back pearls and buttons and that sort of thing, and a little uh, mini rose from like what I used on the front. And then I did do the scrapbooking paper, and then I made um, my white uh, copy paper. I did the pink and the green um, kind of real um, faint tint, and so I thought that turned out really pretty. And of course it can be written over and then, you know, just the different um, scrapbooking papers and, you know, tried to do more of the vintage, vintagey looking um, scrapbooking paper and that sort of thing. And then I did do a little bit of stenciling um, with the butterflies, um, some distressed wood looking scrapbooking paper and chevrons. And then um, this is the second one. It has a little crown um, as the charm. And then it has the little um, bicycle and then just the bright pink and then this little note card right here that I sewed around and put the paper around and all that. And then um, middle of the first signature and then just a little corner embellishment up there with a key um, kind of sticker. And then just a little butterfly with some ribbon and then another one of those with some uh, strawberries and some real pretty um, ribbon trim. Just a little bit of stenciling. And then, um, <clears throat> pardon me, this is some wrapping paper that I have, but I backed it on some cardstock and then just kind of made a tuck out of it. And so you can tuck a little, um, you know, a little tag or something under there. And um, of course made that tag to go behind that. And then I did um, kind of some stippling or stenciling, I don't know, of a, of a heart-shaped doily um, that I used in the journal and that sort of thing, so I thought that was pretty. And then um, just a sideways, or a, yeah, sorry, a, a corner embellishment with a little um, um, a, a charm that I adhered on there. And then um, getting back to the back of the first signature, another one of those um, little pretty cards. And then this is just a, uh, a uh, pocket that I made out of um, a little note card that I made. And then the, this is um, some of that wrapping paper. And I uh, turned it um, or backed it on some cardstock so this side can be written on, you know, this side can have pictures on it, whatever. Um, and then the... Um, I think we're on the third sideways, or actually this one can go either way. So you can do it from the top, you can do it from the side, and I just did it from the side and uh, put a uh, one of these little journaling cards in I, that I put the Victoria, what is it, Victorian Velvet is the Distress Ink that I used, and it's so pretty. It's so fine, or, or I don't know, just very, very blush. Um, color and I just really like it so um, and then of course I did the dress form um, stamp down here just a little bit of um, kind of vintage looking scrapbooking paper and then um, a little kind of book page um, uh, corner embellishment down there just some butterfly um, paper that I have and then just some little 
little uh, trims down here at the bottom. And then getting into, here's some more of that paper that I made with the different Distress inks. And then just put some kind of little tabs and that sort of thing on the side there. And then just did a little girly um, lace trim right there. And then this one, uh, let's see, I think that's the, let me say the fourth one. Um, and so this one has an ice cream cone charm and then it's got um, just an old vintage button, some flat back pearls, and then just some trim. And then another one of those, this is a larger uh, size note card that I, you know, sewed the paper to and did the, um, you know, the sewing around it and that sort of thing. This uh, is stumbling obviously with the butterflies and then this is a heart-shaped doily that I uh, made a tuck spot out of and then stuck um, one of the little note cards in that I made. Of course, you can take the paper clip off. It just kind of gave it a little bit more um, stability, but you know, it can, it, it is adhered down so you can take the paper clip off. Um, but I thought that was really pretty. And then just some more blank paper. And then I did do kind of the staggered um, paper and that sort of thing. Just a little bit of lace um, trim. And then this one is another um, hidden paper clip, and then this one has a real pretty um, tag that I made out of um, book page. And then I just sewed it and put uh, a decoupage napkin and just some trim and figured um, whomever gets the journal, you know, they can certainly finish that out and or, you know, use it as is. Um, but I thought that was really cute. And then... Um, another um, pocket here and then this is some more of that wrapping paper that I made um, into a tag and then more of that paper with the um, with the uh, real faint um, distress ink um, effect there and then just a little bit heavier there but I just think it's really pretty and then um, different sizes of those scrapbooking papers that I have and then just a um, corner embellishment with a, just a tiny bit of bling. And then one another one of those um, punch outs that I have um, and then adhered that down. And I think this has, might be the last um, paper clip and it is um, a hidden one um, again. And then you've got another one of the little butterfly um, cards under there. And then um, a pocket or a tuck here um, with just some old trim and then I uh, put some goodies in with um, a, a tag. This is um, wrapping paper as well but it's backed onto coffee dyed paper and cardstock and then just some real pretty uh, journaling tags that you can write on or, or you know use it on a gift and that sort of thing or a bookmark, play saver, um, all sorts of things. And then just some more little um, sweet little corner embellishments and then I did make a uh, tuck spot out of um, some book page that I had and then so that just kind of tucks in there it is you know adhered down um, so you don't need a paper clip or anything to hold it in place and then uh, some um, seam binding that I did also with the Victorian velvet and I thought that was really pretty and then did a little clock on there and then the other side of that other um, pocket and this is just one of those note cart or the ones that you can color and it just says express yourself and then this one says happy and then this is another um do a heart shaped doily and then I just made um another tuck it is adhered down but I just put the paper clip there just for a little bit more stability and then um the other side I thought that was really pretty the heart actual part um there and then tuck stuff up under here and it is um adhered down um as well so it will stay um in the book and then back in the back here, another pocket uh, with the fabric and then um, some more um, journaling goodies. And that is that. And so um, I will go ahead and uh, as usual, get everything counted up and um, you know make sure that I have all the dimensions and that sort of thing. So um, I will be listing this here shortly. And I hope you're having a great uh, week and uh, looking forward to the weekend. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.